Ali. Really, our job that day was answering basically 911 calls for people trapped uh, in vehicles, in waterways, in their homes. 19 members of the Swiftwater Rescue Team were deployed to Asheville in Chimney Rock, North Carolina. We actually helped on two incidents. Quick question. You see that shit on my chest? You think I did that shit just to be cool? Let me show you something. You see this right on my hand? You think I did that shit just to be accepted? Fuck no. I didn't. To come up with some bullshit to make some story? No. Here's what happened. The day before the storm, North Carolina contacted Michigan, okay? And they sent in this response team, okay? The day before the storm, okay? This Michigan response team has the authority of Homeland Security. There's 19 members of them. Now get this, none of them are volunteers. They're all for hire, they're paid. And they get dispatched on the day that the storm hits to go to Asheville, North Carolina. Well, that's a couple days journey for them. They get to Asheville, North Carolina, all hell's broke loose. They get dispatched, as the video says, to Lure Lake, Chimney Rock. And they get down there in Chimney Rock and that is where the story picks up from the Sean Ryan show. When these two badass American soldiers, entrepreneurs, volunteers show up from aerial response and say, hey man, can we help? And this group from Michigan has a pissing party. Now the question is by many of these people on these watching these videos is how is it that an emergency response team could call a temporary flight restriction, no fly zone. Well, here's the fucking paperwork. Look at it. The FFA outlines the, the guidelines for that to happen because it's in a disaster area. And so the fucking response team that was paid to come from Michigan came to Asheville, went to fucking Chimney Rock and declared a temporary flight restriction because they had a fucking problem with their authority. They didn't want, see, when you're a private company, right, to do the work, you do not want to be outshined by a public company or volunteers. You would look like a real piece of shit, right, if you was being paid to do a job and volunteers, Americans, or fucking people just doing good work, citizens outshine you, made you look stupid outworked you, exposed you for what you really are. And so they knew that. And that is the thinking behind why they called the fucking temporary flight restriction. Because they didn't want to look bad. Because they didn't have no helicopters, right? And there was individuals that was landing, right? In the fucking zone where disaster, death, everything. Listen, I got a buddy, man, from Nashville, Arkansas that went to fucking Bakersfield and Chimney Rock. And, and I got another one, Dane Gentry, right? They lost their fucking mind, folks. And those people from Michigan, the blood is on your fucking hands and I am going to hunt you down, right? It's so odd that they are funded and authorized by Homeland Security, which is whatever that Mayorkas dude is, that had a press conference and went and bought shoes and then had a press conference and then went and bought no, no boo fucking takeout, thousand dollars on our dimes. It is so fucking coincidental that that same guy is over FEMA, Homeland Security, the border security, natural disasters. And the state Michigan was contracted the day before the storm ever hit. That's crucial because they had the money, you see. And much less Michigan. Don't they got a crazy governor over there? Right? And those people go to fucking Chimney Rock, deny all help, have a pissing party with people that are trying to help. You know what they said to those people? Y'all look like Navy SEALs. We will wrestle you. They were worried about fucking their measuring dicks, what they were doing, rather than helping people. And then they were there 
for two days and then they hauled ass right back to Michigan and had a press conference about all the good shit they done. They didn't do a fucking thing. They took people's lives is what they did. They're not heroes. Right? And that is the fucking truth. And if you don't like it, let me tell you something. I get emails from dumbasses, people, that want me to, I got an email, I had drove 49 hours, 2,000 miles, wrecked by schooling, all week, I'm fucking behind, technical math, left my shit behind, would do it fucking again, thinking about doing it again, to go to North Carolina and help people. Pray, and I don't give, I don't give a fuck, I don't want your accolades or thank yous, I want you to put your hands on the ground. I want you to join in. I am not a bleacher guy. Have you ain't figured it out yet? I don't give a fuck who's in the bleachers. Those are not my people. My people are on the sidelines or in the fucking game. They're on the field, you see. And if you're one of these people like this woman that called me or texted me and said, hey, can you send me pictures of the bodies in trees and blah, blah. I've got these people around me don't believe me and I want to show them my phone. Listen, bitch, drive your ass down there. Right? Don't contact me for stupid shit. You don't think I know there's influencers that want my information? No, I dig. And I keep my fucking people secure. And I work for it. And for you to fucking email me and want some pictures because you want to win an argument with somebody in your family, you can get fucked six ways from Nigeria. Black cock and all. Dumb. This will probably get banned. Oh well, I don't give a fuck because I'll go to YouTube. Follow me on YouTube. Love you. Flip fucking English.